good good morning to you uh, you're welcome to yet another interesting episode of the open heavens daily devotional review and yes today is a bright saturday how are you doing today Ma? amazing all right cool so yes uh today we'll be discussing a very interesting topic that i love which is whatsoever things are true but before we go into that can you kind of lead us in prayer father we thank you you are the god of truth you're true to yourself yes, father we ask that you don't veil the truth to us today in jesus name Amen. father we ask that every lie that the enemy has planted in our hearts be removed in jesus name Amen. we tear down every veil of ignorance and deception in our lives in jesus name Amen. thank you everlasting father you, in jesus name we're prayed Amen. 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 So yes, uh, our topic still remains whatsoever things are true. And our memory verse today is from the book of John, chapter 17, verse 17. And it says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. But what do you have to say concerning this particular passage? It simply says that, you know, the work, the work of sanctification is the work that the Holy Ghost does in us to purify us. So, you know, we have sanctification, we have consecration. Mm -hmm. Consecration is your response to the word. The sanctification is the work of the word in you. As you receive the word of God, it's in a work of conviction in you. You know, we, we did not exactly have a role to play in our salvation. That was the work of sanctification. As the word came with power, it delivered us completely. However, you have a responsibility to respond to that call. So it says that it's only the truth, sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. It's only the, the word of God that can sanctify us. And it's very powerful. It's very important that we embrace the work of sanctification because when the word of God purifies us and sanctifies us with the truth, we are able to identify the truth. When a person is deceived, their judgment is not clear. Mm. You can't make wise choices, you can't make wise decisions. But when you are in the truth and you're being purified, you can then make the right choices, make the right decisions. Mm. Amazing, amazing. And our Bible read uh, for today is Philippians chapter four, verse eight. And it says, keep your, th your thoughts continually fixed on all things that is authentic and real, honorable and admirable, beautiful and respectful, pure and holy, merciful and kind, and fasten your thoughts on every glorious work of God, praising Him always. And, uh, you know, when I read a particular passage, you know, this made me understand that, you know, there is more to what we see. Like, you cannot say you are, you know, wanting to be uh, 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 true to yourself if you're not ready to accept you know the truth because some people tell themselves that oh uh, i want to be true to myself today but then they're not willing to accept the truth when their mm. friends tell them when people tell them that oh what you're doing is wrong you know caution yourself and you know look uh uh towards the thing that you know that are truth and i'm um, looking at what our father and the lord has uh, for us today he said you know it is very important that you only uh, think on the things you know that is advised to you in your bibles so that's why the the, the truth of the matter is that our bibles should be something that we should always you know read and study because that is our truth we are living you know the bible and it's really really stood out for me so Ma, um do you have anything that stood out for you during the course of you know the study i think i'll go back to the memory verse that's philippians 4 verse 8 okay. and it's very instructive it's not a suggestion it says these are the things we should give our minds to whatsoever. So I don't know what version did you read? That's uh, the TPT. TPT. So the New King James says, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, things that are just, things that are pure, things that are lovely, of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. So when your mind is tempted to sway and focus on anything, or you're not sure of um, what you're about to give your attention to, this is the litmus test for you to say, mm -hmm. okay, is this right? Is this something I should allow into my heart? Or is this something, if it's something that you allow into your heart and you have to repent from later, then you should not even allow it in. Mm -hmm. True, very true. And the action point for today says, you know, you, you need to think only on the word of God, not on the circumstances and situations around you. That's mm -hmm. why I said, that, you know, that the Bible is like, you know, a, a set of uh, of laid down uh, instructions that we must follow in mm -hmm. order for us to live in truth because that is what God really wants for us. So, Ma, do you have anything to add? No. All I right. think we've said it all. we said it all. Okay, fantastic. So, yes, I want to believe that, you know, you will be able to stay true to yourself because it's indeed very important. It's what God uh, really wants us to do and you should make sure that you study. You also follow the Open Heavens Daily Devotional because this is the way you can indeed walk in truth. So, yes, Ma, can we kind of pray? 
Thank you, Father, for your word that has come to us today. Thank you, Thank you for the truth that has entered into our hearts and liberated us from every lie. Thank you, Thank you everlasting Father, because going on, you give us the grace and the discipline Amen. to focus on only the things that are true. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. God bless you.